But coming in at number three, we went down to the Houston Texans. In their, tour, in their territory, it was third down, and the defensive coordinator called a phenomenal play. Check it out right now. Chow turns, blitz is coming. Chow's got to get rid of it. The ball is picked up. It's Richard Sherman. He's going to go down the far sidelines. Are you kidding me? Nobody's going to touch him. 10 5. Touchdown, Seahawks. They have come all the way back and scored 20 unanswered points to tie it up here in the fourth quarter. This is when you guys were young, <laughs> yeah. you guys were hungry, you weren't really on the scene yet. You're down 20 to three at the half. You guys come all the way back. Take us through Sherm on this play. And I kid you not, we practiced this play like 15 times during the week. We said when it's third down and the ball is on the right hash and it's third and short, we're gonna call Phil Slasher Palms. Richard Sherman, all you gotta do is sit in the flats and he will throw it right to you. And so the game came down like, okay, we're down, we're losing. Third down presented itself. The defense court didn't have to call the play. We knew which play was coming. Phil Slasher, they ran a boot. He threw it right to him. Cam goes straight to the quarterback. Richard Sherman sitting in the flats. Do what you There's do There's KJ, best. number 50. And you check knew. Out the and you check knew. Out no shoe. <laughs> Shoeless Sherm is what I call it. Somehow, some way, his shoe came off. He ran to the end zone. 2013, pick six. Beautiful play. All right, number two. It's week 13 of the same season. It's Monday Night Football. Should we take a listen? Absolutely. Let's go. Shotgun snap to Breeze, steps up in the pocket, looks, he's hit the ball, comes out, it's picked off by the Seahawks, right into the hands of Bennett. Touchdown, Seahawks! <laughs> Hands down, Cliff Averill and Michael Bennett is one of the best pass rushing duos I've ever seen. You just watch Cliff coming off the edge and Mike B. This is considered a sack force fumble. But what make this play so special, look at the celebration from Michael Bennett. Please, if you can, just show the celebration. This man was just an icon. The way he was dancing, hip thrusting. I've been in this stadium a lot. Hands down, this is one of the top three loudest moments that I've heard this Seahawks crowd go. And so this is a phenomenal play. You got to start with the D-line. Oh, they won't show they it. Won't. It's X-rated. That's why they won't it's show it. It's a morning it. show. It's X-rated. It's a Too morning many thrusts. show. But uh, this is really fun to see. Monday Night Football, Drew Brees, Sean Payton coming in our house. Give it to me, Mike B. Oh, my goodness. Please it show Here it, it is. Though. Here it is. We got it. All right. There it go. That's why I got all them kids. That's why I got them three kids <laughs> hip thrusting it. So, hands down, a fun moment. Monday Night Football, Michael Bennett, Cliff Averill, beautiful play. Real quick, Michael Bennett, always this eccentric guy, him and his brother, but we had Gerald McCoy in, and he's like, no one watches film like Michael Bennett. He nope. sees a different. How cerebral was he? Even though on the outside, he almost seemed like more of a character and a comedian. Listen to me. This man, it'll be a power play. He's a defensive lineman. He will get out of his stance, come off like a linebacker to go across the line. I'm like, bro. You're a D lineman. What are you doing? He just knew what was coming before it was happening. Smart player. He walked around the locker room with film. He just walked around with film. And so our D lineman was just so smart, just so anticipated stuff left and right. They made life easy for myself and Bobby. Take us to number one. Number one. It only makes sense. Super Bowl 48. Peyton Manor comes into town. We'll hold them deuce to one touchdown. Check out Malcolm Smith. Ball at the 35. Moreno in the backfield. Now he scampers. The ball is hit. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick up by the Seahawks. Far sideline. Malcolm Smith. 50. Oh, 30. Oh, Pick it oh, go. 30. Oh, Nobody's going to touch him. Oh, 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 oh. Please go. Please go. Yes. Yes. Touchdown. Oh, Seahawks. Oh, the Seahawks defense. They do it again. Oh, baby. Malcolm Smith. Hey. Hey, you got it. You're my favorite player. Hell you yeah. Player. Hey, Mine to too. Three, baby. Hey. Three, baby. What do I do? Huh? <laughs> One of the biggest blowouts in Super Bowl history, <laughs> and the Broncos were big favorites. Take us through that day. How confident were you guys that you could knock them off? I told Bobby the week before we watched film, I said, bro, I'm looking at this film. This game does not have to be close. This game does not have to be close at all. I was watching them on film, but I saw bad defense more than I saw really good offense. And so we stepped on that football field. They ran the same plays they did the, uh, the previous games, the same run plays, same pass plays, and we was just smacking them dudes left <laughs> and right. Like, you guys are really going to run the same plays against us? And we came to this play, the coaches said, all week, if it's trips formation and the back scats out, 
Buzz player, hold the numbers. We ran cover three. Everyone knew where we were in. Hold the numbers. And for Cliff, you showed up twice, Cliff. I'm showing you love. You showed up twice on this. Hold the numbers. Cliff hits uh, Peyton Manning's arm. Malcolm Smith sitting right there on the numbers to get the pick six. Hands down, the best play in Seahawks, the Legion of Boom history. Ooh, and I Hands we, down. We didn't even hit Crabtree and Sherman. Nope. You nope. didn't even go there. They, you've got your own things here. Nope. Let's go to the table. This is awesome. I love this. Jason, Sarah, your thoughts? For one, you guys did Matt Schaub dirty. He's known for the pick six. You start the thing <laughs> off with Matt Schaub throwing a pick six and Sherm taking it to the house. And, Shrakes, you alluded to it. Michael Bennett, I was teammates with him for a short while in New England. Smart dude. Loved having him there. How in the world did all of these personalities mm. fit together? You talk about the Legion. But we see Sherm talking trash. We heard when Earl Thomas, he was in Baltimore, he leaves the team and yeah. they don't want him back. So many different guys. How in the world did you guys all fit together? I don't know how we did it myself. Just so many alpha personalities, so many egos, and you did, it, it, it was kind of hard managing those guys. I give Cam Chancellor mm. a lot of credit. Cam was that dude. He was that guy to keep guys like, you know, hey, do this. I'm going to reel you back a little bit. Really? And people loved and respected Cam. He was that facilitator to go to anybody mm. on the football team. Like, hey, bro, let's get back in order. So it was hard. It was challenging. <laughs> but, man, we was just special. It was so fun. Legion of Boom. Four years in a row. Number one defense. Woo! I'll put up our defense against anybody in the NFL One history. thing, too, I, I get a lot of flack that our Super Bowl was an awful game. It was no scoring. That Super Bowl was terrible. It was boring. It was <laughs> so lopsided. Oh, Percy was Harvin you got, returned was terrible. eight touchdowns. Like, y'all's that, that's terrible. That's were terrible. That Super Bowl was, uh, you turned the TV off. It wasn't fun. Right Bruno, Bruno Mars. Day. Bruno Mars was amazing. <laughs> Bruno was <laughs> never going to argue that. <laughs> Percy Harvin was awesome. Yes. yes. I don't know about Holding that. the best offense in the history, and they shouldn't even score at that one touchdown. Yeah. I was mad that they even got that one touchdown. That's so you just saw what we did, but the Rams... The you you Rams went with a lot of best. Best secondary ever, best defense ever, Broncos best offense ever. We're going to have to challenge some of these. We're gonna, you're here tomorrow, right? Let's do it. Here's what, do here's it. what the stuff that, I, that pops in my head. It was such a special group, and you think Legion of Boom, and it's iconic. Is, is the Legion of Boom still close? Like, is mm. everyone close? Like, I want to see the tech. Who are you closest to? Obviously, Bobby. Obviously, Bruce Irvin. Like, my linebackers, mm -hmm. those are my brothers for life. But um, I was with Cam. Our wives are flipping a house. We're about to have an HGTV show <laughs> called Flipping After Football. What? Oh, oh yeah, breaking news. Serious? I Flip love this. Flipping After Football. HGTV doesn't know it yet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> But yeah, our wives are flipping a house right now, flipping after football. We back there pulling up bushes and, and uh, putting stuff on the back of our truck. So I was with Cam not too long ago. Cliff, that's my guy, Deshaun Shedd. Our kids run mm. track together. So these are my brothers for life. And so I love these dudes. <laughs>